Welcome to another overly complicated build using modular consoles, because those are really fun to build. So this is my control panel for mixing fuel and the general gas storage overview. This uh, right section here shows my storage. So I have uh, oxygen, volatiles, nitrogen, mixed fuel, water and pollutants. And for each one I have the temperature, pressure and how many moles of gas. And uh, this left section here is for mixing gas. And uh, this part here shows the mixing tank status. And I have a target for how much I want to mix. I can change that. So let's say I want just 1000 moles for now. And that works like this. I start mixing and it fills up the mixing tank and then it uh, flushes all that out to the mixed fuel so we can see that increases over here and it slows down as it uh, empties out and uh, as long as it's like less than 10 moles we are considered done Any second now. <coughs> All right, we're done. So uh, I used the standard PV equals NRT formula for mixing fuel using turbo pumps here. And uh, you can check out videos on mixing fuel by Shadow Drake here on YouTube for more information. But basically the main benefit is that you get very fast and accurate mixing, uh, regardless of input temperatures. So, for example, um, my volatiles here, uh, zero degrees, and my oxygen storage here, 21 degrees. That doesn't matter, but it would matter if I was using the standard gas mixing device. So the piping here, volatiles is coming in from here, and oxygen coming in from here, to analyzers and the turbo pumps goes into the temporary mixing tanks and uh, once the mix is complete here uh, this pump puts it into the main fuel storage so let's queue up a larger batch here let's do 10,000 moles and here we go we can see the oxygen fills up quite quickly since I have a lot more oxygen. Volatiles, not so much. So it has to struggle a bit, but it works. So we can see the oxygen pump is down to zero liters, but we're still at 100 here. So this will keep going until 6.6 thousand. And now we are emptying it out. This uh, insufficiency warning, this shows up if, uh, for example, this batch would require 6.6 thousand. And if I have less than that in my volatiles, well, I can't really mix this properly. It will just keep mixing for a long time until I put more in. And this will warn me of that before I mix. And the final part is that digital valve right over there. So anything to the right here, this is the distribution line that goes to anything that needs fuel, like the spaceport or combustion centrifuges. So you can see here my fuel pressure is four megapascals and if I turn this on I'm now sending out the fuel to the rest of the factory and it has equalized and we see our volatiles are slowly increasing from biomass burning yep that's it <laughs> 